Hi, I'm Chris Drysdale with Rocky Mountain Equipment. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Pro 700 and going through the steps and introduction to getting it going. So this is the Pro 700. Uh, it is placed in most of our vehicles, depending on what software we can have different various levels of control for a combine or a tractor or run a ISO bus implement. This is what I would call our man standard run screen or our standard layout screen. We have toolbox where we would actually configure everything. If we go into it, we can actually change backlighting. We can change operator units, measurement. We can change the layout and move where things are around in the various run screens or on the left hand side. We can adjust our implement as well as go through and set up our GPS, our guidance, our steering, uh, and go through and adjust anything that we need to. If we go back, Diagnostics would be where I would actually go through and look at software versions, I can look at fault codes, I can look at what's in the resident memory, I can look at what the GPS is doing and various signal levels. Through our data management screen, this is where we would actually import or filter crop types, uh, layouts, delete, we would be able to delete our grower farmer field, any boundaries that you might need to, and import and export data. Our run screen is where we're actually going to control the machine and you're given six different run tabs along the bottom. Run one is typically set up for our machine specific controls. So if you have a combine, we would see combine controls. You would see your, your yield loss uh, sensors uh, in, a, in a sprayer. We would see all of our section control and that sort of thing. Uh, in run two, this is where our standard grower farmer field layout would be. Again, in, a, in another video, we did talk about the file structure and the importance of syntax for the grower farmer field and getting all that matching for good data management. Run three is our standard GPS guidance screen. This is where we would actually record or set up and select guidance lines and steer the machine that we're controlling. Run four would be our standard overview coverage layout and five and six are kind of your standard operational uh, specific things whether we're doing hydraulics locking out or changing our flow rates and then run six we would have other various options to put in information whether it be field or uh, fuel usage. Our ISO bus is where we're going to control any VT implement or anything that's put through the ISO system, any other uh, third party implement or spray controller or anything of that nature, you would see it show up in our VT or UT depending on the software level and we'd be able to cycle through that just like it was a TV. Going back, we have calibration. This screen is typically something that you would only do for uh, setting up your steering and being able to actually change characteristics and set up our values for our steering thresholds and that sort of thing as well as our area control. 